Hey everybody and welcome back to another adventure with Stratos Wave and today I'm pretty excited to be taking a look at surviving the aftermath from Paradox Interactive. They are actually doing a uh, kind of free trial a couple days it's free to uh, play I highly recommend you check it out if you get a chance to if you're seeing this video after the trial then uh, take a look at the video I think you're gonna find it's a pretty cool cool looking game if you're into survival if you're into kind of city builders so without further ado let's go ahead and start a new game here um i did actually uh play for a couple hours just to make sure i kind of knew how everything worked and uh i discovered a couple of things that i'm gonna pass on so we'll go from there uh, modern civilization is gone. Yep, this is post-apocalyptic. Fell apart in a time when rivaling superpowers fought over the auto, fought over power and ideology too focused on themselves. Yeah. So there's been natural disasters, all kinds of terrible things happening, and uh, basically civilization has crashed. If you want to read through that, you can pause the video. All right, we are going to go ahead and leave the tutorial on. Uh, we're going to go fairly easy. Yep. Uh, and we're going to try to care and protect for our people. Can we... Let's see. Um... I think I'm going to go with her. And let's see, what was the other one I really liked? Kind of looking for higher scavenge rates, too. Let's see, 100%. Um, let's go with her. Okay, continue. All right, I kind of like the green background, and I like the bear, so we're going to go with that. We are going to call this Scratches. Landing. Uh, let's let's randomize. Let's see. Can we? Let's not worry about the motto. I'm not too concerned. Adapt and overcome. <laughs> That's kind of the nature of the game. Map seed. Uh, no, let's not play with that. All right. Uh, this does have partial controller support. I am currently playing with keyboard and mouse. Uh, I just haven't really had time to, to learn the controls on the controller, and I didn't want you to watch that awkwardness, so I'm just going to go with the keyboard and mouse. Uh, also, I should note the uh, music in the background is not from the game they wanted uh credit for each uh soundtrack for the game and i didn't want to have to worry about that so i'm just uh playing some other background music but the music is is pretty good from what i remember all right uh yep the world is in ruins. Many things once considered normal are hard to find, and habitable land is no exception. Uh, so we're going to look for a new colony. We need to build a campsite. All right, let's see. We've got some plastic. Wood is super important. Oof. And it doesn't look like we have a whole lot of uh, wood stacks just laying about. I was also kind of hoping for a lake or something like that for water. Ooh. 
Uh, there's one all the way up there. So we're going to kind of want to head that way. Yep, that's that. Um... Yeah, let's let's build our first spot over here. All right, get that up and running. We'll get some tents laid out. And then we need to get wood, like, right away. Right away. I think that's colliding. Just put it right next to that one for the moment. All right, we're going to go ahead and shoot the flare because we can't get much, much done without colonists. Let's get another couple tents in here. Prompted by the signal flare, the rest of the group arrives at the prepared campsite. Despite the hardship ahead, it's time to rebuild. Rotate. Kind of get these lined up here. Ah, oh, that tree's in the way. Okay. All right. So, like I said, the two things we're going to need right away is wooden plastic. Uh, any structures that are, you know, kind of laying about, we can gather stuff from. So, like, up here would be a pretty good spot, because there's lots of... Actually, there's quite a few. Quite a few old buildings. And lots of plastic up there. Let's go ahead and put in a stockpile. Yeah, that's probably gonna let's see, rotate maybe. That'll work. Okay, and then uh so our stockpile will get us wood. And then we're going to need food pretty quickly, too. I want to get the plastic going as well, though. Let's see. Yeah, they're already picking berries here. Let's put one right in the middle here, I think. Good, good. All right. And then plastic. We're going to get that from over here. A recycler. Nice. Okay, so I know we're probably wanting water here pretty soon, so let's figure out where might be a good spot for a well, actually. Uh, let's see. I need to... Let's go ahead and put a road in. I don't know. Did I leave? No, I didn't leave room between those. 
That was kind of silly of me. Actually, yeah, water's negative 12. Um, yeah, I really like this area over here. It's a little awkward, but... Okay. And then let's get a... Can we do a lumber yard yet? Where was the lumber yard? Fishing pier. Lumber yard. This will allow us to start cutting trees down. That looks like an okay spot. Oh man, I took trees out. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Okay. Let's go ahead and get a road over there. Oh, was that too close? Water shortage. Yep. Don't we know it? Yeah, they're working on building the well right now. Get the lumber yard done. I'm gonna I'm gonna specifically ask it ask it to work on removing those trees. This is gonna be our main colony area. Nice. So far so good. I think I had man oh there's some there's some wood piles hiding in amongst the bushes. What else we got? Plastic. Kinda trying to see if I can figure out where metal might be. Looks like there's quite a bit. Is this stone maybe? Concrete. I am not seeing much in the way of metal though that has me a little nervous okay lumber yards done let's move our work area to here so I want to get those trees out of the way first Yeah, I don't, I don't see any metal. That's kind of a bummer. I should probably try to get some more berries going. And we're getting stockpiled. It's kind of nice we had two right there. Uh, there's some more berries and stuff over here. So one of the things I kept running into that uh, was a problem for me was that I kept like I'd go oh I need to harvest this pile and this pile and this pile and then I'd have because each one of these stations uh let's see not not this one but like this one so you've got people that have to man that I'm going to go ahead and put a second person on plastic here. I'm going to see what I can get away with roadways. Nope, you can't go through the berry bush. And I didn't leave myself any room there. Get these trees out of here and we can kind of start developing things maybe a little bit more. 
I would like to get a road going through here. They travel faster over roads, is the, the, the theory. All right, can we do anything with our map? Yeah, we have some things we can go check out with our... Oh, wait. Okay. So, these are our specialists. They're going to allow us to go out into the wider world and collect some useful resources. Science points are super important uh, because if you look at our research tree here... That's not the research tree... This is how we get upgrades to stuff. So, one of the things we're gonna want is uh, we're gonna want we're gonna want to be able to go hunting, and metal scavenging, because as you get through the first part of the game, um, more and more buildings start requiring metal, and you want metal buildings anyway because. Uh, there's lovely little things like radioactive rain uh, and other terrible things that happen and these little tents don't really they don't really cut it all right does everybody have shelter we're just tired and exhausted and we don't like our shelter because it's just a tent okay How's the lumber going? Yeah, they're getting there. I think every think everybody has a home, so that's fine. Got this pile of wood here we should probably try to get picked up let's see can i put let's put another stockpile in here that might be close enough oh, except it's still colliding That might work. Okay, now that we can kind of see a little bit better with that tree out of the way. Yeah, we kind of put our well right smack dab in the middle of the road. The other thing I ran into was... Um, Oh, we need medical. We have not built any medical tents. That's going to come back to haunt us. Okay. Now that we've got a little bit clearer picture here. Oops. Let's go ahead and move our wood gathering. Oh. Poor foundations. Uh-oh. Uh, looks like somebody couldn't build their tent correctly. Mm. We better improve it before someone gets hurt. Hey, happiness up. Okay, let's get our another road built here. To 83 plastic I think we need how much do we need for the gate let's see 
175. Okay, so we're pretty good for wood. Don't don't let that deceive you though. Let's go ahead and put a second medical tent down, I think. And we probably need some outhouses. These are kind of a pain. Um, they will get um, and maybe we'll put another one over here. They'll get contaminated over time and you need to uh, decontaminate them or they'll start to affect the structures around them. Uh, we also, we're gonna need some burners to try and keep uh, things warm. Because at some point we're gonna end up with a uh, weather event. Hmm. I need that wood pile out of there. I think it's colliding still, probably with that wood pile. Is it happy there? Okay. And in order to feed the burner, we are going to need this logging camp, which will create firewood for us. And I think I'm just going to put that right next to our I was hoping to put it there. Maybe if we uh, flip it around. Yeah, go that way with it. Yep. See, now we're stuck. We're waiting for free carriers. Oh no, we're hungry. Oh, we're paused. Why are we paused? I must have hit a button. Shape it up pretty good. I wish we had more water. Because that, that icky little pond down there probably isn't going to do much for us. Neither that one. We might be able to get some fresh water that way. This area here is probably our best bet for a fishing camp. Let's see if we can get that going. Everything else, but that's kind of what we got to choose from. And that means we're going to have to put a burner out there so that we don't end up with problems. Oh, what's going on? 
Uh, muffled cries for help. Large hole. Oh, no. Makeshift ladder should help get the colonist out. Yep, let's make a ladder. Yay, we're happy. Okay, where does that road go? That road could be our way out to the fishing pond. And the other thing we're going to want um, is to get... I'm going to collect some water, too, while we're at it. There. Yeah. Boy, I hope they don't end up with tox toxicity because of this thing. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of pinkish there. Alright, how we doing for firewood? 29? Okay, let's... Um, yeah, production limit 29. 31. We don't have one set. Let's do a production limit of, I think each one takes 15. We'll probably need about four. So let's just limit it to 60 for right now. Nice. Shaping up good. We get a little more plastic. We'll be able to open the gate. Uh-oh. What are we complaining about? No free carriers. Yep. I've hit our limit. Did you get all of the wood picked up? Nice. Uh, evidently that area is not considered close enough. we doing up here oh wow we got all that wood picked up already oh I see some more over here some more plastic that's probably gonna be concrete I am not seeing any metal I really want to figure out where the metal is. Oh, we should do a hunting thing. Let's see, where was that? Is that food? Yeah. Let's set up a trapper. And it seems like the... Um, Oh, that might be met. No, that's wood. It seems like the trapper kind of depletes the forest. So you want to kind of keep that in mind. 37, 38. Checking my percentage here. It's like 97 is probably about as good as it's going to get. So I'm kind of trying to pick an area that that I'm okay with the forest disappearing. Yeah, there's some more wood. Nice. Colonist Sebastian is radiated. Yep. Sebastian better get to the hospital. Yeah, he's already in the med tent. Slots, occupants. Oh, it says none. Is he done already? Yeah, thanks for taking care of me. Cool. Okay, we are probably going to need some more homes here soon. I 
feel like we should be getting some more colonists coming in soonish. I'm gonna be smart and put a gap there. Mm, can't do that yet. Probably put another house or two over here, maybe? Uh, let's run the road this way. No, I don't. I'll put a road there. <laughs> oh, what's going on? All right. One of the colonists approaches looking for more than a little, looking a, more than a little nervous. She says that she might be able to provide some clothing for the colony. Her grandmother used to teach her while she was a child, and she seems fairly confident that she still remembers how it goes. Um, yeah. Let's see. Oh, we got some clothes. Nice. And there's some more wood over here. Okay, that's still working on berry bushes. Uh, we've got some fish. Oh, I guess the fish is being pulled all the way down there. Oh boy. All right, let's see. Let's get more road in so these are connected. That sounds wonderful. There we go. How are we doing? Only got one fisherman. Let's get two. Do we have some stuff we can gather over here? Yeah, we do. We got some berries. Yeah, let's build another gathering hut over here, maybe. Oh, I don't know. See, this is what I was talking about. You got to be careful because we're already hitting the, hey, you don't have any free carriers left. We're kind of stuck waiting for our next colony bump. So, and I think we're hitting about, yeah, a little over a half hour for this video. So I think we're going to call it here. And thank you very much for watching this episode. I hope this gives you a uh, decent idea of what af surviving the aftermath looks like and uh if you guys like this video hit that like button and uh possibly we'll be doing some more videos with it so thank you very much for watching have a great day